On a shielded system, when the overhead ground wire intercepts a lightning stroke, it conducts the current to ground via its downground. If the tower ground resistance is too high, the voltage at the base of the phase insulator will increase. If the voltage increases enough, it can exceed the withstand level of the insulator and cause a backflash from the tower to the phase conductor. When the stroke is over in about 100 microseconds, the ionized air along the insulator remains. This ionized air provides a perfect path for the normal AC voltage to then flash over from the phase to earth. This second flashover is the issue. From this second flashover, power system current begins to flow to ground and can only be interrupted by the breaker back at the substation. This breaker operation then causes the momentary outage on the system which we see as a blink. If the overhead ground wire is struck and a transmission line arrestor is installed, this scenario is much different. Should the voltage at the base of the insulator rise as it did in the last case, instead of a flashover of the insulator, the arrestor clamps the voltage across the insulator to levels below its flashover. During this clamping action, the lightning current flows backwards through the arrestor onto the phase conductor. This lightning current is only a few thousand amps in amplitude and is easily handled at the station by the station arrestors mounted there. After the strike is over, the arrestor turns off and the system is restored without a fault or a breaker operation. No blink on the system, no potential damage to the insulators.